and leading the state election campaign for the BJP is the star campaigner, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and he will be in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh today. Simultaneously, as uh, he completes one state after another, he will first start with development projects in both these states. Now, we're being told it will start with Congress ruled Rajasthan. Chittorgarh is where Prime Minister Modi will land at around 10 a.m. Unveiled projects worth 7,000 crore rupees, including the Mehsana Bhatinda Gurdaspur gas pipeline and four land road connection national highways. Moreover, the railway projects being dedicated to the nation by Prime Minister include projects involving uh, the doubling of Chittorgarh Neemach railway line and Kota Chittorgarh electrified railway line. In Madhya Pradesh's Gwalior, Prime Minister Modi will then reach there and launch initiatives worth 19,000 crore rupees. Projects include Delhi Vadodara Expressway, which has been developed at a cost of about 11,895 crore rupees. Prime Minister Modi will also dedicate 2.2 lakh houses built under the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana at the cost of 140 crore rupees. Let's go across now to our colleagues joining us both from Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. First to you, Devankar, because that is where uh, Prime Minister Modi will be arriving first in Chittorgarh. What are we expecting in Rajasthan? How crucial do you think it's for BJP that Prime Minister himself unveiling projects there? Well, Pooja, uh, today's visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Chittorgarh in Rajasthan will be his 10th visit to Rajasthan this year itself. Rajasthan is a pole-bound state. Uh, the BJP is yet to declare any list of seats for candidates as far as Rajasthan is concerned. And uh, as far as sources within the political circles are concerned, they maintain that soon after Prime Minister's visit, uh, perhaps later today or tomorrow, uh, the first list of the BJP of candidates uh, for Rajasthan can come out. Uh, there were three names uh, from the union ministers who can be told clearly that they have to contest uh, uh, the upcoming elections in Rajasthan at the CEC meeting in, uh, in, in New Delhi today. Uh, what we were told was that it was decided that Arjun Ram Meghwal, who is the union law minister, Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, as well as Kailash Chaudhary are three union ministers who are from Rajasthan who can be asked to contest the upcoming elections in Rajasthan. So clearly uh, the BJP believes that, you know, to counter the Congress in Rajasthan, uh, uh, a possible step is to let uh, the senior ministers of the yellow, uh, of the uh, of the Modi uh, cabinet uh, to be asked to contest in Rajasthan. And also, you know, uh, uh, Puja sources have told us that uh, Vasundra Raji can be asked to contest from a key seat so that a key Congress leader is given a tough fight. Vasundra Raji has had been contesting from Jhalawad, yes. but the seat can be changed and that is a possibility. So all sorts of uh, permutations and combinations in the state of Rajasthan, it's very crucial for the BJP this time. Let's go across to the state where there is the BJP in ruling party and perhaps does that make anything easier for the BJP? Himinder Sharma joining me on that. Himinder, it's interesting to see that Prime Minister Modi himself landing in Madhya Pradesh because even though it is the BJP in the government, they're not taking it lightly at all. Well, they are not taking it lightly. In fact, they are facing an anti-incumbency of almost... 20 years. The BJP has been in power in Madhya Pradesh for almost uh, 19 years out of 20 years, the past 20 years. So <clears throat> there's a lot of anti-incumbency and to get that anti-incumbency, the BJP is trying out various strategies. One is to field heavy weights. They have already put in nine uh, members of parliament of the Bharatiya Janata Party and one national generalist that is Kalash Vijayavargi. They are contesting elections. Few big names, few mem more members of parliament uh, are expected. Their names could be announced. Prime Minister Modi lands in Gwalior today at around uh, 3 p.m. and mm. uh, the BJP is uh, hoping that they would be able to galvanize around 1 lakh people at the Mela grounds and uh, the campaign for the Gwalior division, uh, Jumble division starts today. The theme song for the BJP in Madhya Pradesh is uh, Modi ke man mein Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh ke man mein Modi. So it's the Prime Minister okay. who's leading from the front and it's uh, the Prime Minister who's taking this call and everything is being done on his behalf. Mm -hmm. on his name and votes are also being Very offered. interesting. Does that also say that uh, do they fear any kind of laws that Prime Minister Modi himself has decided to take charge or perhaps it will be easier in Madhya Pradesh but what about Rajasthan? Stay tuned to India today through the day because Himinder from Madhya Pradesh and Devankur from Rajasthan will be getting you all the latest updates from Prime Minister Modi's election campaign rallies.